This deadly conflict happening between Israel and Hamas is very personal for one professional cage fighter here in the U.S. Noad Lahat's family lives in Israel. He says his grandma has had to run for, for cover during this latest round of fighting. And for that reason, he says he must go back home and fight for her and his people. And I want to bring in Noad right now, getting ready to jump on a plane from California. Noad, first of all, congrats on your win and your fight last night, and thanks so much for joining me. Oh, thank you very much for having me. Now let's talk about your next fight. We know you are a member of the Israeli Defense Forces, or the IDF, a reservist. You tell me, how are you feeling about returning to your old unit? Uh, well, I'm feeling, you know, I'm excited about seeing my friend and everything, but uh, I'd prefer to go home on a different, uh, for a different reason. I can understand that. I read you were dedicating your win last night to peace, not war. Why go back yes. to battle then? Because you can't achieve peace without being ready for war. If people are attacking you and they're, they're not going to stop until you're dead, then you have to go and fight. There's no other, uh, other way. Were you called back by the Israeli government? Uh, or is this yes just my no. choice? They, they, well, it's my choice. They can't call me if I'm not there because uh, because if I'm not there, they can't call me. But the second they called my friends, um, I right away I got my ticket and I will, and I said I'm ready to go back. What do you make of what's happening there right now? It's just another round of this uh, of this ridiculous game. It's uh, Hamas uh, shooting at us. We trying to respond, but we can't because. Uh, most of the world hold their hands and they twisted it and don't let us finish uh, the job and take Hamas down. So we stop and then they're shooting again. You know, I think a lot of people would agree that, you know, Ham Hamas is not necessarily a good organization. They are viewed as terrorists by the United States. That being said, a lot of people who are dying in the fighting are innocent civilians. A lot of lives have been lost there in Gaza. What's your reaction to well, that? First, first of all, you can't say they're not good and terrorists. They're not. They're terrorists. That's mean they're evil. And unfortunately, a lot of they're using their kids and they're using their schools and their hospitals and their women as human shields. And that's why we got you know accidents. In every war, there's accidents uh, when people die. Just like when uh, England uh, bombed Berlin. The, the, the Nazi Germany, kids died, and just like when the United States bombed the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a lot of innocent kids died. But that's what happened in war, there's casualties. Unfortunately, they're using their, their tunnel. Their fighters are underground in tunnels, and their kids are protecting their uh, missiles. If it's the choose between our kids and their kids, there's nothing we can do about it. If you do have to choose between your kids and their kids, you're saying you would choose your kids? Of course, uh, every day. If someone's shooting at you, you have to shoot back. And we, everything we do, everything, every attack, it's almost like a surgical uh, 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 plan. Every attack by airplane, you see, there's only the one room, the one car. Everything is after a lot of planning. There's no a lot of collateral damage like uh, usually happen. We trying to pick our fight. The only reason our troops on the ground right now is because we're trying to avoid a lot of uh, heavy bombing, a lot of a lot of airstrikes that we could just do it from uh, behind and keep our troops safe. But we risk our, our troops and a lot of a few friends right now in that uh, in the, the last day round of fighting, and uh, just because we trying to protect their kids more than they trying to protect their kids. I know your family is very important to you, as you've just mentioned. What is your message to them? Be strong. We will win. All right. Noah Lahat, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.